Great Asa Ninja! What should I write my next term paper on? I don't think it really matters what you write it on. I mean, if I was gonna write it, I'd probably write it on a nice big scroll or something like that. You will probably use a computer or a brother word processor. Eric, don't even worry about your term paper. I already wrote it for you. 120 pages, turned it in, snuck it into your prof's inbox during his office hours, which by the way, he uses to play Wii Lumberjack. Pretty much the most boring Wii game ever. You just basically go like this for like 20 minutes. Before you go thanking me for writing that term paper for you, you got an F. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and call that my bad. I'm gonna take the hit on that one because I wrote it and I did not know what it was supposed to be on or what class it was for when I wrote it. So I pretty much just made it all up. Turns out 10,000 words on Kelly Clarkson's former hairdresser is not an acceptable subject matter for a class called 17th century Russian literature. Who knew? It seemed like a compelling topic. By compelling, I mean I already have a mission where I'm supposed to kill Kelly Clarkson's former hairdresser. Also, I turned it in in your handwriting, which it turns out was not a good idea because one, you've got really bad penmanship. Two, Teachers don't like to have things turned in in handwriting anymore. They like the typed in printed out version. They really don't like it when it's printed out in blood. Apparently that strikes an odd chord with them. Also, I didn't do any research except in my imagination. That was my only place where I went to get information. And Perez Hilton, obviously. But I didn't think those were reliable sources to list on the paper. So all the footnotes in the appendix are all just directly pulled from Stephen Hawking's A Brief History of Time. And they don't really, you know, the, it doesn't it doesn't quite make any sense whatsoever. Point is, you gotta write a new paper, and I don't think just like a regular term paper is gonna do it anymore. You, my friend, have got to go ninja style, and you need to write a terminal paper. That's a ninja writing technique where you write something that is so intense that the person reading it dies. It's like the dead tree version of the ring. This actually works out really well because every university has a policy where if your professor dies in some weird, unobscure, baffling way, everyone in the class gets an A. You're basically doing a favor for everybody, except the friends and family of the professor. You know, Gilligan, Marianne, they get pretty upset about stuff like this. Don't use this technique unless you really have to. I mean, if you're really stupid or your hands fell off or something like that. Now, the main goal of a terminal paper is to get the person so riled up and confused that they get up to run to their mommy and they shatter to a million pieces. Here are the basic elements that you want to have in your terminal paper. You gotta get that logic just just making a huge logic jump that just don't make any sense you say like fire is hot and Catherine Heigl was on Maxim's hot list and Catherine Heigl wear clothes and clothes are never worn in Kevin Bacon's household and Kevin Bacon has a band with his brother and Band of Brothers was a very well shot HBO miniseries and Abraham Lincoln was shot in Ford's theater but Harrison Ford is too old to be an action star and action was a very short lived Fox sitcom and a fox has to sit very calmly in order to catch a rabbit and only only snobby girls in the 1980s had Volkswagen Rabbits, and Volkswagen has more banned commercials than any other company, and Bad Company had a hit song called Shooting Star, therefore by association, Seth Rogen is gonna burn somebody with a rebellious small town tailpipe. What? Exactly. Step one, check it off your list. So you just gotta get in there and you gotta get really intense, something that's just gonna make them feel, ugh, just feel horrible. Like, if you're describing the foreign policy of Ulysses S. Grant, you describe it like changing the bandages on a rump roast that's stuffed with blended cold sores. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. And you can't be afraid to get personal either. If you know something about your professor, get in there. Talk about it. That's the plain truth of it. And you don't want to go for something that they'd be embarrassed if other people knew. You gotta go for stuff that they'd be embarrassed if they even knew about themselves. And the final stroke to make sure that it hits home, no punctuation and no spaces. It should look like just one giant word. Everything is just smashed together and then they try and read it and their brain starts spinning and their body gets all upset. And then <laughs> done. A's for everyone. If that doesn't work, just go ahead and copy the Wikipedia article. Who's gonna know? Close enough for America. Thanks for the question, Eric. I look forward to plagiarizing you soon. Hiya! Seriously though, do not write a term paper about me. I will not only kill you, I will also kill your GPA. And I mean that. There are many, many, many interesting things that you can write a term paper on. I like different things that can be used for a subject, for a term paper. One thing that I like very, very, very much are ninjas. Ninjas do many, many, many 
interesting things. And that is why they are neat. The end. That's all I have.